Hi boys and girls, welcome to another episode. In this episode, we'll be learning about pyramids. Our objective, learn how to identify pyramids, learn the different types of pyramids, identify faces, edges, and vertices of different types of pyramids. Let's look at figure one, the pyramids of Egypt. What do you know about the pyramids? Did you know they were built over 4,500 years ago? Did you know that climbing the pyramids is forbidden? Did you know that the pyramids were built to house tombs of the pharaohs? And did you know that the tallest pyramid in Egypt stands at 448 feet? Can you guess the shape of these pyramids of Egypt? If you guessed pyramid, you are correct. Well done. Can you think of other objects, big or small, that have the shape of a pyramid? List three of them. Sometimes the, the roof of certain sections of, of houses might have that shape as well. Okay, a pyramid is a solid shape consisting of three or more triangular faces connected to a polygonal base. These triangular faces are known as lateral faces. The lateral faces all meet above the base at a common point known as the apex. Let's take a closer look at the properties of a pyramid. So here we have figure two properties of a pyramid. So we have lateral face here, lateral face, and there'd be another face. We have the base. This one looks like a, maybe a square, okay? So we have the common point above which, above the base at which all these lateral faces meet, okay? We have the height, we have the slant height, we have an edge, okay? Base, the flat face on which the pyramid sits. Lateral faces, the triangular faces connecting the base at the apex. Vertices, the corners or points where at least three edges meet. Apex, the common vertex at which the lateral faces of a pyramid meet. Edges, where any two faces meet. Height, the imaginary straight line drawn perpendicular from the base to the apex. Now, perpendicular means it forms right angles. Okay. Types of pyramids. Pyramids are named according to the type of polygon that form their bases. Triangular pyramid. A triangular pyramid has a triangular base. Since its faces are also triangular, this pyramid is made up of all triangles. A square pyramid. As the name suggests, this type of pyramid has a square base. A rectangular pyramid. This type is similar to a square pyramid. However, the base is formed by a rectangle. A pentagonal pyramid. As the name suggests, this type of pyramid has a base with five sides. A hexagonal pyramid has a hexagonal base. Note, all pyramids have one apex. And this is important to distinguish between pyramids and, and prisms. So all pyramids have one apex. Recall that the apex is the vertex at which the lateral faces of a pyramid meet. Let's explore. Identify the number of faces, vertices, and edges on these pyramids. So here we have the name of the pyramid, number of faces, number of vertices, number of edges, uh, the pyramid again, and we have it there. So here we have a square pyramid. 
you need to say the number of faces, vertices, and edges. Triangular pyramid, number of faces, number of edges, number of vertices, number of edges. We have the hexagonal and the pentagonal um, pyramid. Extend. Complete the table below by writing the number of faces, vertices, and edges for each polyhedron. So, polyhedron, name, rectangular prism, pentagonal prism, triangular prism, rectangular uh, pyramid, uh, pentagonal pyramid, triangular pyramid. Number of faces, number of vertices, number of edges. So, for the rectangular prism, we have six faces, eight vertices, Tell us the number of edges and complete this table. Finally, evaluate. This section would like to see you doing this one. Complete the worksheet below. Circle the objects that best fit the description. Faces, five, nine edges, six vertices. So which of these? For this one, 6 faces, 12 edges, 8 vertices. Which one? 5 faces, 8 edges, 5 vertices. Finally, 6 faces, 12 edges, 8 vertices. Today, you have learned about pyramids in your class. However, your best friend was absent from class and has asked you to tell him or her what you learned. Write a summary of this lesson. Outline all the important points you learned about pyramids. And be sure to include drawings showing how the different types of pyramids look and mention where in everyday life, where you can see our very own pyramids. In this episode, we were looking at pyramids. If you are now able to identify pyramids, tell the different types of pyramids and identify faces, edges, and vertices of different types of pyramids, we would have had a successful lesson. Please complete your evaluation activity. Take care and we'll see you in the next episode.